Ready? Let me know. Yep. All right. All right. Okay, so we have a very special guest here in the office today. This is a legend, a WNBA legend. I'm so excited to have her. Uh, Miss Teresa Weatherspoon, man. If you follow basketball, if you're a fan of the sport, if you're a fan of WNBA, then you already know who this is. You don't need any introduction. But if she wants to introduce herself, she can, okay? Who are you, young lady? To, uh. to Yes. I am Teresa. They call me Teaspoon Weatherspoon. Yes. So yes, yes, yes. I'm super excited to be here. I've been trying to get here. Jamal got me in. Yeah. It's time to go to work. Yeah, it's man. It's that pace. So, it's that pace. Indeed. So, you know, as, uh, you know, history of athletes, you know, we put a lot of demand on their bodies. And so that comes with a lot of injuries, a lot of injury recoveries, a lot of rehab. And so after you leave the sport, you leave the game, then you are left with what has your body what you put your body through and what has happened to your body and so basically she's managing some injuries that she's had and basically she's been to a number of different doctors so we're going to be kind of zeroing in on a particular area for her and that's her lower back um i want to make sure that her nerves are not being affected in her lower back primarily so we're going to be doing flexion extraction table to help decompress her back as well as get her a full body thorough adjustment. Again, my point and purpose is I'm trying to maximize what a body is able to do by increasing her flexibility, her mobility, reducing her joint restrictions. I'm trying to decompress her disc as much as we can, and I'm trying to get those nerves to flow a little bit easier down into her legs, okay? So that's primarily why she came all the way down here to see me, and I'm very excited to see what we can do for her today, okay? So one thing I kind of asked her about was her stretching, okay? And she said, she said that she doesn't really stretch and she hasn't really stretched. And so I want to give you all a tip as my athletes, please introduce stretching into your daily routine. Uh, stronger muscles, strength actually comes from a muscle that's lengthened as opposed to a muscle that's contracted and tighter. Because if you think about it, a contracted muscle can only contract but so much more. So you're not able to generate as much power as that potential in that muscle as opposed to it being lengthened and you move into a full range of motion. There's more generation of power and contraction. So re-lengthening that muscle is going to help generate your strength as well as increase your flexibility and agility. And ultimately that helps prevent some of these injuries that may have happened because tension generally translates into inflammation and into pain and then also an alteration in the mechanics, how your joints are moving. Okay, so we're gonna be working on her a little bit. I'm very excited. Go ahead and get started. I'm gonna share it with you all, her experience a little bit. All right, so. Let's get it. Indeed, indeed. All right, so we have to lay on your stomach for me. Let's go ahead and look at your back. Now, we did a thorough exam already. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into great detail with exactly what's going on, but we did an exam and we kind of found some things that may be contributing to, you know, overall discomfort, tension, tightness that may be causing her lower back to kind of give her some uncomfortable feeling, some tension, some tightness, and sometimes some pain. In an effort, again, she had some injuries in her lower legs, and so those nerves from the legs are actually going back to the lower back. And so that's why I'm zeroing in on the lower back, and again, to make sure those nerves are flowing a little bit easier down into her legs, and keeping them functioning for her, keeping her strength, and stimulating her muscles in the legs, okay? So we're going to begin by kind of stretching you out just a little bit, all right? So um, this table is going to lift up underneath you right at your pelvis, okay? Just to kind of begin you're gonna feel some pressure at the top of your hips here all right so again let me know if I'm applying too much pressure my stretch therapist she always says you know make sure I'm not pushing past that hurt so good zone right because there's a difference of pain between pain and the hurt so good zone okay so let me know if we get into that zone so I can kind of ease up that pressure okay you're gonna feel some pressure right here and as I'm doing this go ahead and give yourself a big breath in breathe all the way out for me good Okay, I need that one more time. Big breath in, breathe all the way out. Pressure okay for you there? Okay. So again, this is still a part of my prep to kind of lengthen everything, relax the muscles. We're gonna kind of direct that stretch more so to the sacrum and tailbone, on top of the sacrum. And I'm gonna be stretching into the ligaments, into the lumbar spine. Again, when we're standing and we're sitting, everything is being compressed down towards the hips. So we need to do the opposite. We get into those QLs. So your QLs and your lats are tight here, man, tight. And so when your lats meet your QLs, again, they have a tendency when you have tightness because they intersect with one another, 
they kind of form these little knots around that area too and that's going to cause these muscles to stay kind of semi-permanently tight on you all right so again that's another good reason why we want to stretch this out so we don't start to develop these trigger points and knots into your muscles here good we okay there awesome good now we're going to stretch your neck and shoulders a little bit you're going to feel a little bit of, i'm sorry a little bit of pressure behind your back of your head here good continue to relax for me and then we're going to stretch your mid back down here again doing the opposite shoulders usually go up by the ears when we're stressed when they're tight because your traps are so dominant so we want to lengthen everything back down here okay i know that's that shoulder there is that okay for you that's awesome. okay good let's stretch this side a little bit okay next stop what we're going to kind of analyze and check for you is going to be your mid back these ribs here okay so the reason why these ribs come and attach to the spine they formulate joints here okay so they can get restricted on you too and that can begin to kind of affect your breathing here because your lungs are going to be uh, you know contracting and expanding your ribs move up up and down with that and so again we want to make sure that your breathing is not being affected as well as you holding tension in that mid back again that's going to cause these lats to tighten up and begin to pull in the qls okay so give your body a break for the next 20 minutes i'm going to do all the work for you okay you've done enough all right you're going to feel me lift your hip a little bit of pressure in the front of this hip on the right side and then you're going to feel an impulse into the mid back so on these we typically don't hear too many audibles this is very subtle but you can sometimes feel these fall back into place if they are restricted okay so you're gonna feel these little light impulses every as we move up into that right shoulder good we're gonna do the same thing on the left side here I'm lifting up that left hip now a little stretch into that mid back good a little impulse here good moving up Okay, very good, very good. Moving up here, a little release there, and moving into that shoulder a little bit. Good, thank you so much. Go ahead and relax. All right, first thing I like to check next is going to be the alignment of the hips and the movement of the sacrum, okay? So this table that you laid on, Teresa, is a drop table. It's gonna be dropping at your lower back and at your hips. It's gonna assist in kind of unlocking this mobility for you. I wanna kind of show what I'm kind of working on here. We're gonna bend your knees just a little bit. So there's gonna be some restriction on her left side. You can see her right leg move a little bit further than the left, okay? And this could very well come from the position of her sacrum. If it's positioned over to the left or to the right, it's going to cause a little bit more tension on one movement of her legs and as opposed to the other. So for her, again, it was the right side that we're going to be working on just to kind of balance out her hips. And that's also very important in making sure we're reducing as many muscle imbalances that could be present around her lower back. That's also contributing to tension being held there and also altering how your joints are moving. Okay. All right, so a little bit of pressure in this lower left side. And on this one, you typically don't hear nothing but this table drop. Not many cavitations on this one as well, okay? So that's primarily what it's going to feel like. A little bit of pressure right on the SI joint. Here's our very first impulse here, okay, Teresa? Good. How you feeling? You okay? Okay. I'm going to go right back to that same joint here, okay? Right back to that same joint. We're going to do that one more time. Again, this is the sacroiliac joint on your left side. All right, looking at her leg length, that's improved. Now we're gonna cross this right leg over the left one for me, all right? So this is how we're gonna measure and kind of check that sacrum and tailbone. Keep your leg right there for me, okay? We're gonna kind of be directing our pressure more so to the lower part of the spine where your sacrum and tailbone sits. I'm gonna be redirecting it a little bit, all right? So a little bit of pressure there. And we're gonna kind of be shifting and influencing it back to the right just a little bit. Good. Okay, let's unlock this. Let's look at our leg movements now, okay? Let me see. Okay, a little bit more equal there, a little bit more balanced, okay? Very good, how you feeling, Ms. Teresa? Feeling good, very good. Okay, now, we're gonna get into the part where you can feel and hear some cavitations, okay? The lower part of the neck, usually that eye opener, which you're gonna be experiencing as far as the rest of the unlocking of your body, okay? All right, let me see, let me draw this.
Okay, nothing just yet. Let me see what we got. Okay, a little bit more tension on this lower right side. Left side got some tension too. And we had a little shoulder work here, so that's the reason why we may have some scar tissue kind of developing around the neck, kind of altering how that shoulder is moving a little bit. We're going to be checking both sides for you though, okay? Relax your head and neck. My hand is going to go right to the side of your neck here. On your right, I'm going to bring your head over to where my hand is. Continue to relax your head there, okay? So this is going to be a fast motion, the lower part of your neck here. All right, you may feel and hear some things open up for you, okay? Let this right shoulder relax. You're doing amazing. Thank you so much. Good. Ooh. Big release. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! Big release there. Okay. Again, that's going to hold tension into these neck muscles here, okay? That's going to be affecting both the shoulders, the neck, and the mid-back, okay? I'm going to stretch your shoulders down a little bit, all right? Drop this right arm down outside the armrest. There you go, let it hang. And then again, this is just a stretch for you. Let me know if we're doing too much. All right, that's that eye opener. How you feeling? This is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting. Was that painful for you though? No. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, now we're gonna be a little bit more careful on this left shoulder, right? Left side. But I'm still gonna get into that neck though. It's more than likely there's a lot of compression there, okay? All right. Okay. I'm gonna bring your head over to the left side. Let that rest on the table for me. Good. Let that left shoulder relax. You're doing amazing, that's it. Again, the same thing you felt. Again, it's gonna be a quick stretch there for you. Let that relax. Good, good, thank you so much. Bring your head back to neutral whenever you're ready. You okay? I'm awesome. Okay, good, 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 good. God. All right, let's get that stretched out here. Okay, let's reset that spine. This is years and years and years. She's been adjusted though. She's been adjusted by the team chiropractor. But I don't know if she's been adjusted full body or had this experience before. Is this all right for you there? Awesome. Good. Keep your arms down for me. You're gonna feel a little bit of pressure at the top of the mid back, okay? Yes. All right, very slow, very slow. Okay, I want you to give me a big breath in for me on this one. Breathe all the way out. Get your chest and shoulders relax. Quick little impulse into the chest. Good. I'm moving down just a little bit. Give me one more of those big breaths in. Let that go. Thank you so much. Good. Good. Yeah, a little bit in there. A little bit deeper. All right, so we're going to get the rest of your mid-back. We're going to do that in a different position. I have an adjustment tool that's going to assist me unlock that mid-back a little bit further. Okay? So let's get into the lower back. Now, I'm very interested in this lower left side. That's where we're going to start. Okay? So I want you to lay on this hip and this shoulder that I'm tapping. Put that on the table for me. Face me over here to your left. All right, lift your head up. I don't want to make sure, make sure you're in a pinch. Okay, you can rest your head down. Perfect. All right, I'm going to take some pressure off that bottom shoulder. Okay? With this hand, grab onto your forearm. Let it rest for me there. Okay? We're going to stretch the bottom leg out. And just bend the top one for me. Keep your foot right behind that leg. Okay? I need to get you to my edge a little bit. Go ahead and scoop, but stay on that hip. That's perfect. Gotcha. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Just stay there. Stay there. All right. Now we're going to stretch. Again, let me know about if we're causing pain. That's not the point and purpose of this part right here. Okay. Big breath in for me. Breathe out. I need one more time. Big breath in. Let it go. Good. All right. Let's let our muscles catch up to what we're doing there. That's good. All right. So let's take some tension out. Keep this contact with that for me right here. Let me take some tension out the top half. Let me see. I'm looking for L3, L4. And that's that nerve that runs on the outside of your leg here, okay? I'm gonna be about right here. I'm gonna roll you my way. It's gonna be a very fast motion. No, I'm not gonna let you fall out this table. Gotcha. All right, they're gonna cancel me on social media if you do. <laughs> I just want you to relax, okay? Just want you to relax. You're gonna be right there. It's gonna be a very fast motion, okay? I'm gonna be right here, Mr. Reese. You're doing amazing. Good, thank you so much. Okay. You okay? You all right. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. All right, come on to the other side. I gotta do that on the other, okay? Other side. So we got a nice little release there, okay? Very fast. <laughs> All right, stay on that shoulder. 
Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of it off that bottom shoulder, especially that one. Keep this one straight. Let's put this one right behind. I'm gonna stretch again. Big stretch this way. Breathe out for me. There you go. I need one more of those. Big breaths in. Breathe out. Thank you. Let's let it catch up. Good. Okay, keep your contact with that elbow. Again, Mr. Misa, I got you here. I'm gonna roll it this way. I'm gonna feel an impulse right where my lower back is, right where my hand is. Okay. Let this go. Very fast motion. Good. That's what I needed. I get in and get out. <laughs> How are you feeling though? Wow. It's awesome. Yeah, awesome. Go ahead, lay awesome. your back for me. Lay on your back. Yes. Thank you, man. All right. I need mid back going for you here. All right, so this is a little tool I'm gonna use. I want you to use me. Sit up directly where you're at, though. Okay. I'm gonna place this right behind you. I'm gonna move you here just a little bit. So on this portion, you're gonna give yourself a hug. Okay. okay. Again, as a doctor out there said, you need eight a day. So this is one. All right, I'm gonna give you another one. Okay. Thank you. And I'm gonna guide you back. <laughs> I'm gonna guide you back. So what you're gonna feel is my hand in between with that board okay. and your low. I mean, I'm sorry, your mid back here. Okay. Good. Go ahead and fall back onto my hand. There you go. All the way. All the way. Yep. And I just need you to lift just your head up. Just your head. Just your head. Good love. There you go. Let that relax here. Good. Good. There we go. Big release into that mid-back. Did you feel that? Did yeah. <laughs> So right around your lats, again, that intersection between your QLs. That's where you needed it the most. Again, you're holding a lot of tension and compression there. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to move into... The top of the neck, then our decompression. Okay? Alright. Then we'll check the legs and the hips, all that stuff directly. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> um, Full body experience, okay? I'm loving every minute of it. Indeed, indeed. Alright, now let's see. Let's check the top of your neck. Good. Give me the weight of your head. I just want you to relax your body. Give all your weight to the table. Okay? I'm gonna turn your head slightly to the the way to your head here. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Now this is a very subtle adjustment. We got a lot of your neck to release already. This is just checking the top, which is C1, C2. And again, we're making sure we're clearing everything. So we felt a little subtle release there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Give me the way to your head here. Good. And again, it's gonna be a very fast motion. Just let it relax. There we go. Good. That area is all important for headaches and migraines. All right, so. Let's do our decompression now, okay? This is what you may have seen on social media, all right? So just to explain this again, we are targeting tailbone. We're trying to affect the entire spine, yes. okay? By decompressing your disc, okay? So you may feel 24 vertebrae open up all at one time, all right? So that gives you a big relief, but it can be shocking though, okay? But again, it shouldn't be painful. Okay, so once we get done with the adjustment, just kind of settle your body, breathe, okay, and then kind of relax. You may notice a big difference, even in your breathing, okay? All right, all right. I love adjusting athletes because they be ready for, they be ready for everything. I love it. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> all right, now, let's see. Drop your head back for me. Again, just let that fall into my hands. That's perfect, okay? Now, my second hand is gonna go underneath your chin, so I want you to rest your teeth together. Don't clench them, though, okay? Again, it's important that you relax your body so we don't stop our travel down your spine short, okay? okay. Again, I wanna get to that lower back. That's what I'm targeting, okay? All right, now, just let your body settle and kind of visualize. Visualize your body just being completely supported by the table, okay? And don't forget to breathe, breathe through your nose, okay? That's it, that's perfect. All right, here comes my second hand here. That's gonna be right underneath your chin, okay? So this is where we're heading. This is the Y axis, all right? Gravity is compressing us down always, constantly to the other direction. So it's rare that we get to experience the relenting of the spine. So once you feel me lift your head, we're gonna go, okay? And so this is how it's gonna feel, just like that. Let your body settle and breathe. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Breathe, settle. Let me know how you feel. 
Good. Crazy. Did you feel it go down your back? Good. That's what I wanted. Okay. So again, that's creating a little bit more space yes. for those nerves to travel a little bit more clear and free yes. without the interference of structure, compression, tight muscles. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna get right into the legs next. Okay. So we're gonna be checking that left side for you. All right. Ankles is first. I need to get it into that fibula head too with the peroneal nerve that runs with that fibula head, yes. okay? All right, so a little history here with the ankle, all right? So we're gonna feel just a big stretch here. Yes, these joints can be adjusted. If you never had your ankles and your knees adjusted, that's kind of how it feels. You okay? Yes. You okay? Okay. Yes. All right, now that fibula head, very important. I'm gonna kind of bend your knees okay. into your chest just a little bit where we can go. Let me see what we got. Okay, you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure right on top of that fibula or right behind it, I'm so sorry. And basically, you kind of hear that already kind of opening up there, okay? At least you may have some scar tissue in that knee. When you hear that constant popping, man, yeah? you're gonna feel an impulse into that knee. Good. You okay? Yes. Okay, we're gonna decompress this knee as well. I want you to let your leg relax just like you did your spine. I'm gonna stabilize that hip. Now you may feel a pull into that lower back too, okay? And it's gonna be a very quick little pull here. Pressure behind that knee, let this go. Good, big releases there. How you feeling? Awesome. Good, okay. Let's check this knee over here. Pressure right behind that fibula head. Let's make sure that that's moving how it's supposed to. That's what I'm looking for, that release in your knee, okay? Then we're gonna kind of stretch this hip out a little bit. All right, let this hip relax. Let this go. Let this go. Big release in that fibula head over here. You okay? I'm gonna zero in on that, that knee one more time. We're using this board. It's gonna drop down. A lot of noise from the board, but it shouldn't be painful either. Okay. I'm gonna, again, decompress this knee because again, this is where that tunnel is created for that peroneal nerve, okay? So I need to make sure that that's clear, all right? Now align your knee here a little bit. Gonna feel a little bit of pressure. Good, good, you okay? I'm gonna do that one more time. Good, thank you so much. Again, that noise is just coming from this board. All right, I'm gonna check your hands. While I'm here, let's check this one. What's your history here? Anything? Okay, good. Checking these fingers. Uh-oh, you must manipulate these yourself. Sometimes. A little bit, okay. All right, let me check this wrist though. You know, feel a quick impulse right in that wrist. Good, one more, good. That's way better, thank you, good. A little bit higher. I'm gonna check your elbow next. You're gonna feel pressure right behind that elbow, okay? It's gonna be a quick impulse behind that elbow, okay? This isn't enough to break the arm or do any damage to the structure, I promise. Okay, it I feels weird you. though, I promise you it I feels weird. You. It's gonna be a very quick little stretch here, just like this. And then we're gonna roll that arm the other, direc other direction and feel an impulse behind that elbow. Rest your hand there. Our next stop is the other hand. Let me see. Let me have you take your watch off for me in a second. Okay, fingers are good. Take your watch off for me here. Take your time. Take your time. There you go. Thank you. All right, let me see. Good. This wrist is better. You right hand dominant? Yes. Okay. That's the shooter wrist over there. That's, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll this out. Again, it feels weird, I know it does. I think it's gonna be an impulse here. There we go, that's what we're looking for, okay? I'm gonna roll the other side of that elbow. Good, and again, it's gonna be a quick stretch here. Good, that's awesome. Last but not least, almost done. That's almost your whole body, your shoulders, okay? I'm gonna have you set up, use me, use me. Perfect. Swing your legs over that way. Throw your hands on your waist for me there. Perfect. Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do, Push that elbow back into my hand, my arms, when I wrap it there, okay? Chicken wing, a little bit of pressure here. Push that elbow back into me. Good, I wanna make sure that's good. Go ahead and push that elbow back into me. 
Good, a little release there, okay? And I know that's that shoulder, okay? Now, we're done. Why don't you stand and walk around? Oh, I'm weak. <laughs> I can get up. I can get up with ease. Move around a little oh, bit. Somebody in trouble. Somebody in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> she, means business, yeah, she means business, though. She means business, though. Extremely loose. Indeed. 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 Right? We need that mobility. Right? We need that movement. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. You need that agility. Okay? So that's what's going to gradually re-strengthen everything, right? We're starting to kind of stimulate those muscles a lot more, but you need that mobility first. You gotta get rid of those joint restrictions first. And that way your PT, your exercise, and your strengthening is more effective, okay? As well as decompressing the tension, okay? I got one more thing for you too. All right, yes indeed. So how was everything? Awesome. Did you say it was good? Awesome. Good, all right, so. We're done with the adjustment. Next is flexion extraction. Again, we're going to be targeting that lower back. 